Hey peeps, Kurt Klape, you're here with Teach Mom How. Today I'm going to show you how to make a slideshow with music using nothing but your pahone. Let's get started. All right, testing one, two. All right, this is really cool. I'm gonna show you how to make a slideshow with music using nothing but your iPhone. Uh, I can show you how to do it on Android as well, but today we're just gonna show you on an iPhone. What you're gonna do is you're gonna to wanna to download an app called iMovie, super simple. On most iPhones it's free, although it depends when you bought your phone. So if it's not free, it's only $5 and I highly recommend it, but for most people it will be free. Open up iMovie and you're going to see just how quick you can make a slideshow. These are all slideshows I've made in, in not very much time at all. So first we want to be under projects. Up at the top you'll see video projects theater. Under projects we want to add a new one. Click the plus sign to add a new project. You can do a movie or a trailer. The trailer is just basically like a template, but for since we're doing a slideshow, we're just going to do a movie. Click that movie. It now lets you choose a theme. A theme is something like this where they add some customized transitions and things like this, and it has some music you can use if you choose to. I'm going to use a theme in this one because I like this theme. I'll go ahead and use this modern theme, and I'll click Create. Next. This little symbol here where you see on the middle left where you see the film strip and the music symbol, you click on that. And now we're simply gonna add our photos. So go into your photo library. Down at the bottom, instead of video, I wanna click on photos because I wanna add photos. I wanna go to recently added. And I've got all these photos that I downloaded or that I took. So now I choose which photos I want. So I'm going to choose this one here first of me and my wife after a run then I'm gonna add another photo we'll go with this one with my running group this is from a run we did tonight I'm gonna add another photo here let's get one of my daughter running her first race then we're gonna add another photo here we'll get my daughter at her first piano recital one more photo of my mom and her brother uh, her brother, my brother, my mom and my brother at uh, his wedding. And then add one more photo here of me and my wife and my daughter after a run we did the other night. Okay. All right. So now I've added several photos. Now what I want to do is I want to decide if I want motion to my photos where it zooms in and out. That's uh, called the Ken Burns effect. Okay. It's like this where they, they move in and out. Okay. By default, it's going to put those on. So you click on one of these slides and you'll notice that it pops up these two arrows with the lines. If you click the top one, that moves you to the front of the clip. If you click the bottom one, that moves you to the end of the clip. So at the front of the clip, that's where my shot's gonna start. End of the clip, that's where it's gonna end. You'll see at the top middle, it says 5.0 second. That's how long my slide is. I can then go to the start of it and play it. And if I want it to move faster, if I want the slide to move faster, then I would drag the yellow bar. This is called trimming. On the right, I drag the yellow bar. You can see up at the top middle, the numbers change. I'm at 3.3, 3.1, 3, it gets smaller. Or if I want it to move slower, I can pull it out and go to six seconds. However long I want to go, I can make that slide. All right, now I go to the start and it's going to move even slower because of how I set it up. I'm going to go ahead and leave that alone for now though. You can play with it and decide what speed you like. In the next one I'm going to select it. You can see it's four seconds long. I'm going to go ahead and leave that alone. You want to look at your end point, the top arrow, and your end point to see if it's where you want to end. So we'll end right there close above my face and we'll start with a wide shot. If you want to go out wider you put both hands on the screen and pinch. Kind of like you're zooming in on pictures on your phone. Same idea. Okay, and set it. You can also click on it and move it to set it where you want to start it. And then we can play that and see what that looks like. That's a nice little move. A lot of times it'll do it for you just fine. So if you play it and you like it, like I'm happy with that one right there of my daughter. Pleased with that one of my daughter. If you're pleased with them, then you don't need to adjust them. But if you don't like how it is, like that one, it doesn't show any faces. So what I want to do is I want to click on that one there. Click on the front arrow, so I'm at the start of the clip, and I want to 
move up and I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to start with a big old close up of my mom. She's going to love that. Sorry, mom. Okay. Isn't she beautiful though, my mom? Then I go to the next and sometimes it puts you in awkward positions like that. So you want to, you want to click on the picture and slide it down, frame that up nice. And that's a good spot to end right there. Now I rewind by clicking my finger and dragging on the timeline like this. I'm just moving this by moving my finger right and left on the timeline. The timeline is where you see the pictures at the bottom. Now I push the play button. And if I like that speed, I'm good. If not, if I don't like that speed, if I want it a little slower, again, I click on the yellow right and drag it out to whatever length I want that shot to be on the screen. Let's continue. That looks good to me. And then we've got one last picture and that looks good to me. All right, so there you have it. We've made our slideshow, but this video is called how to make a slideshow with music using your phone. So now we're going to add music. So all I do is I go to the front of my video by again, dragging my finger to the front. Over here on the left, or sorry, over bottom right corner, you'll see the settings gear, the little wheel. You click on that bottom right. That's gonna pull up your settings, okay? I can add the theme music if I want. And the theme music just kind of sounds like this. I'll let you see what it sounds like. I like to always fade in from black and to fade out to black. So I'm gonna turn both of those on. If you wanna add some kind of filter to your pictures, you can do that up there. Or if you wanna change your theme, you can do that right there. But I'm not gonna do any filters. I'm just gonna click done. And I'm gonna push play. Turn up my volume on my phone. I guess you can't hear the volume when I have it recording on my computer, I'm sorry. But there's music there, I promise. You'll see it when it's finished, but. So there's that music. If you wanna use the theme music, you'll be able to hear that when you play yours. But I'm gonna actually add a song, one of my songs that's on in my iTunes. Click on the music symbol on the middle left. Then choose whatever artist you want. I'm gonna go with a Carrie Underwood song. Select All American Girl. This little down arrow will add it to your track. And now if I push play, my slideshow will play with my music. And I've now made a slideshow with music using nothing but my iPhone. And now you get to try it, okay? When you're done, you click done, and you can now share it to whatever website you want, YouTube, Facebook. If you click on my movie, you can change the name of it. We'll call it slideshow. Then this little upload symbol in the bottom middle, I push that. I choose if I wanna just save it to my phone as a video, I click save video. If I wanna go right to YouTube, I click YouTube. You name your thing, you give it a description, you add tags if you want to, and then you choose if you want it private, unlisted, or public and then you click share and then you wait while your phone exports the movie watch how fast it goes because this is a short one and then it will upload the movie to youtube so that's it people go make a slideshow with your phone have fun and please subscribe to my channel